Good morning, my name is Dennis Nelson with Green Lake Vapor in Seattle, Washington. Today we're going to uh, talk to you a little bit about the TFV4 uh, tank to smoke. Another one of the smoke spine products. I really like this unit. Um, it was really sold initially on the Aspire Triton. Uh, I thought the Triton really accomplished my vaping needs and what I needed to do. And uh, Smoke released this nice little unit, the, the TF4, I'm sorry, TFV4, uh, adds more power, more punch. Uh, what I like a lot about this is the triple coil setup that's inside. Um, it, it just has so much more uh, burning power and, and I get so much more flavor and vape out of it. It's a really nice unit. The other nice little features that I found on this is on the bottom, oops, over here, on the bottom, you have four air flows and it's adjustable, which again is nice, uh, you know, because sometimes you don't want all that air and all that intake. The other nice feature that I found when I'm vaping at a higher wattage, you've got the top. And again, it's a four way air passage, it's not the two way. And it is adjustable again. Um, the unit as a whole, I think it's very much worth the price uh, that's out there. I think the average prices are somewhere between $50 and $55. Some stores might be $58 to $60. It varies um, you know, as part of the commercial market. Uh, you know, some of the features that it has is a uh, 1X Taste Furious P4 tank. Uh, 1x silicone ring. It's got the 1x triple coil head, uh, the user manual, the thread pitch is 510, the weight is 92 grams, the resistance of the coil is 0.2, the fill capacity is 5 mil, uh, the dimensions are 24.5 by 70 millimeters, and the material of the glass and stainless steel. It's just, it's a phenomenal unit. Um, the other nice feature on this, and we'll show you right now, pop this up. Now, a lot of us don't like filling from the bottom, and a lot of us don't like the little holes, right? So now, you take and we open up the top, and you can see right here, all right? And you get my finger right, there you see. That little half shape up there, that's the actual fill spot. And I think that's phenomenal. You, you, you take the top, here we go one more time, this isn't the normal camera that I use, the head actually swivels, so you can swivel in there. Now the other nice thing about this, we're going to take, we're going to disassemble it, unscrew, and it actually unscrews uh, what you think is from the top, so now you have the top piece. We're going to take the bottom, see how that nice little glass is, bam, there's the glass. Here's the coil, oops, here's the coil, get a little zoom in on that if you can. See those nice three little dark spots in there? That's actually the coil, or the coils, coils because it's three. There's the size of it, and you know, that's a fairly large coil in comparison to what we normally have. Let me, uh, let me pull a Triton coil. We'll do a Triton versus it side by side. There's the Triton coil and there's the smoke coil. And you'll see how much larger the smoke coil is. Um, the other nice thing, if you can see that, it's got the, uh, where'd it go? There it is, that little white dot in the middle. That's going to be your flow holes. And, you know, you've got four flow holes in there. Four? I'm sorry, three. Three. Don't quote four. It's only three. He um, said, so, you know, this is going to be a mini review. It's nothing major, spectacular. Um, we just got the item in the shop yesterday. And, uh, you know, prior to that, like I said, I've been puffing tough on the, uh, the Triton. Um, 
the other one that I thought was going to be a neat little investment was the crown. And I'm not too pleased with the crown right now. Um, I, I think there's some things with the crown that need to be uh, fixed. And uh, right now I'm just putting this back together so we can move on. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a unique little unit. So anyhow, what I do have, I've got one set up right now set up on my Sigali. This is a 160 watt box and we're going to fire we're going to fire this off at 60 watts and uh, see what we can do power wise here. Now you'll notice that I have this Pyrex stem on here. doesn't come with the unit so we're going to go ahead and give a power puff on it. Long draw. Now, if it was an RDA, that would be a big powder puff cloud, but this isn't an RDA. This is a sub tank. And again, I'm burning at 60 watts. I was getting a little warm in the throat, but you know, it's okay. Uh, so the other thing I did is I had the uh, I had the ring choked. So we're gonna open that ring up a little bit more now. And we're gonna see what damage we can do this time. So now, you know, if you're cloud chasing, definitely the way to go. If you're going after flavor, definitely the way to get your flavor out of there. You know, it, it, it's hitting at, at all different angles. It's hitting on the flavor. It's hitting on the vapor. Uh, it's hitting on power. Uh, it's just one of those really, really nice units. They're comfortable to use. And, uh, you know, what, what more can I say? Uh, here at Green Lake Vapor, we try to keep up on anything new and high tech. Um, and when I say new and high tech, I'm talking good quality products. Uh, you know, I pick Aspire, Sigali, uh, things that are going to be around and last you, the customer, for a duration of time. Uh, now, the market's constantly changing. It seems like every week, if not every day, something new is hitting the market. And we have to keep in mind that the vapor industry is very much like the computer industry of, let's say, 20 years ago. Uh, there is always something bigger, better, new high tech that was coming out in the computer industry. And that shifted over to the cell phones. You know, Apple's came out with the, the one, the two, the five, the six. I think they came out with the seven. Uh, you know, this is very much the same with this industry. There's always something bigger, better, badder that's coming out. Well, right now, Smoke cornered the market. They, uh, they hit on something that hadn't been done, and they did it right. And I give Smoke a big applause on that. Um, I, I can't say how impressed I am. Uh, some of their products in the past I haven't really been too keen on. But you know what? They're stepping up to the plate and they're showing that they've got what it takes to make a good quality product. And uh, I am really excited to see what the industry has to bring over this next year. Um, again, here at Green Lake Vapor, we have over 60 products on our shelves. We have RDAs, we have tanks, uh, we got our BAs, our TAs. We have authentic mechanical mods, you know, like the Manhattan Brass, the V3 Flip. We have the Kuma, uh, the flooding ships. Um, you know, we got your cotton, we got your wire wines. We got what you want. So if you want, uh, come on down to our shop, check us out. I'm more than happy to uh, hook you up with your vaping needs, whether you're the beginner, you're the intermediate, or you're the advanced user. I can talk on any level with you and accommodate you for what in your vaping needs. 
Thank you again for watching our video and you have a great day.